ओम शांति फिर थैंक यू कैन यू हियर यस मैम आई कैन हियर यू लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन कमिंग टू द सिटिंग पोस्ट कीप योर बैक नेक स्ट्रेट अलाइन जेंटली क्लोज योर आईज observe your mind move your attention towards your natural breath the breath which is going in and coming out now take a deep from long slow inhalation deep from long slow exhalation inhale and exhale with awareness Now take a deep, long inhalation for the Om. Inhale for the Om. Om. शांति 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 फील द वाइब्रेशन एंड सेंसेशन ज्वाइन योर बोथ हम रैप योर हम प्लेस ऑन योर आईज Very slowly, while blinking, looking at your palm gently, open up your eyes, keep a great smile, and feel gentle. So, welcome to the meditation class. Today we're gonna talk about the another chanting mantra, which is uh, related to the Buddhist mantra, that is Om Mani Padme Hum. So. ओम मणि पद्म हम कृतांजलिशन ओम यस मैम विद डिड दिस ओम मणि पद्म हम नो मैम नॉट इट सो वी गोना डिस्कस अबाउट द ओम मणि पद्म हम सो आई एम गोना शेयर यू एंड एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द मीनिंग एंड द प्रोनंसिएशन ओम मणि पद्म हम बेसिकली दिस इज वेरी ओल्ड ट्रेडिशनल मंत्रा व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन द बुद्धिस्ट मेडिटेशन व्हेन इन ऑर्डर टू चांट इन ऑर्डर टू प्रेस द लॉर्ड बुद्ध इन लाइटमेंट सो यू कैन सी दिस ओम मणि पद्म हम so om 
Mani Padme Hum. Okay. Om Mani Padme Hum. Very old traditional practice, which is like popular after uh, the death of the Lord Buddha. Okay. Uh, after 500 years, death of the Lord Buddha, after that, uh, the Om Mani Padme Hum come into the existence and uh, many Buddhist followers and those who are uh, following the Buddhism, they, they chant these mantras. But it's nothing related to the religion. Um, as I talked about mantra, it's not only the related to the religion, it's always related to the sound, intention, and the vibration which is associated with the particular kind of mantra. So this Om Mani Padme Hum, uh, if you see, look towards it, Om is basically the Sanskrit word, Om. Then Mani Padme Hum, that is also the Sanskrit alphabet. And uh, we're gonna know about the meaning of it. You know that Buddhism is also the part of uh, coming from the Hinduism. It's part of the Hinduism also. Uh, we cannot separate the, you know, when we talked about the meditation, when we talked about the yoga, we cannot talk about the religion at all because everything is mixed in the yoga, okay? Uh, and when we talked about the science, the spirituality, the spiritual science, and when we talked about to control the mind, we can implement it any kind of method, either it's European or Indian or the, um, coming from the other culture or religion. Nothing harm in that. So uh, same concept with the, this. Many people think about it, it's a part of the Buddhism and we are Hinduism. We follow the Hinduism. How we can practice? Of course you can practice. Um, because yoga is already uh, just based on the science, spiritual science. And we are here to control our uh, mind and get entered into the reality, what is actual reality. The rules of the, of the nature, which is implemented on everyone. And same with the rules of, of the vibration, which is implemented on everyone. So we have to go through that kind of rule instead of following the different kind of beliefs, okay? So, this is also the traditional practice. So now one by one, I'll explain you the meaning and the pronunciation and then we do the practice. Om, I talked about it uh, very much in detail, what is meaning here and it's used as a Om, uh, the word. And here it represents um, <clears throat> so here this is the sound of the you know um, the god sound of the lord sound of which i explained already universe sound of the divine sound of the divine energy okay which purifies the ego okay so om here purifies the ego where you connect with the supreme energy, okay, divine energy. You get the realization of that divine energy. And when you accept that divine energy, it's gonna gradually persist. And when you think in that then you, it's slowly gradually killing your ego, right? Otherwise, you think, I am the big, I am the big. This is flourishing your ego. But when you accept this, this reality that, no, I'm not the big, you are superior than me. And we're, I'm talking about acceptance. It's not just with the words. People, you know, have the ego. They do the chanting. They do the everything. They say God is... Their God is there, and they do the fight. They say the existence of the divine energy. Are you getting it? 
So saying is a different thing, but putting into the action, implementing, when you accept this, Thing, it means you're surrendering it and outside and your skin is because you understand that supreme energy is controlling everything and you are not anymore any anywhere in the center and then if specify your ego gradually this understanding comes with the own okay then money money is basically a jewel okay the jewel uh, it represents the ethic. So, uh, ma -ri, two syllable is there. Om is one syllable. Ma -ri is two syllable here. Ma -ri. So, ma, this label represents the ethics and purify jealousy. Okay, ma. So, ma, one syllable is. So, this whole uh, mantra is made of the six labels. Okay, O. Ma, Ni, Pat, Me, Ham. Okay, six labels. If I write it down, this is a one, this is a two, this is a three, this is a four, five, and six. Okay, these are the six sound, label sound. Okay, so Ma is represent ethics and purifies the jealousy. And Ni, uh, Ni is which you call me is not me, Rani, Rani. If basically money, if we combine money is jewel. Jewel. Jewel is like jewelry, right? So money, uh, a stone, which if you see the stone, it's go through how it comes into the shining. It's go through the many, undergo through the many pressure purification. Earlier it has the impurity. Right, it mixed with the stone impurities, there is the dust particles, there is other things are mixed with the money. But when it's go through the purification and slowly gradually it's come into the shining, right? How it becomes shining? Because it go through the so many pressures, stress and uh, you know, pain and suffering, and then later on it's shining like a jewel, right? Uh, it, it is a part of the stone. Now it becomes the jewel. So this purification, this is whole procedure of purification on the human being. When so money is a representation of the human soul, where it's gonna purify through the pain, suffering, and when human being going through this, you become more strong, right? Whenever you have this emotion, every time you see any pain and suffering. And when you come out, you see that you are more stronger than previous, right? Previously. So same way, money is the whole procedure. So through the, this is the representation of money, okay? Now, when we separate it, ma, ma which represents the ethics purification and purifies the jealousy. Ri is represent the patient and purifies the desire, okay? Ari represents patience and purifies the desire. So Om Mani, Om Mani is not money, is money. Om Mani, okay? Om Mani, Ma Ani, two syllables here. Now come to the Padme, Padme. Padme is like lotus, okay? If we join these two words, it means it symbolizes the lotus, Padme. So jewel, which is in the lotus. So money is in the lotus. And lotus is carrying the money, right? So if you see lotus has the many symbolical meaning, uh, like how it's detached. If you see the lotus, lotus stem is only attached to the water and rest of the part of the lotus is completely detached from the water, right? Completely it shows the purification once you achieve the purification your small stem so only small stem is attached to the materialistic world in order to like you are feeding yourself you are having little bit like food from the nature you're walking on the ground you are talking to the people little bit 
just basic desire like shelter, food, and clothes and water. You are consuming it. So only basic basic stem is attached, and you are otherwise completely detached. Each and every part of your body and your mind is completely detached from the materialistic world. So lotus here basically symbolizes the purification procedure which happened to you and how you completely reach to that level when you are completely detached from the materialistic um, this world. So yogi, Lord Buddha, like how Lord Buddha is detached, how the Lord Krishna or other you know are detached, same way you gonna detach. So now when we break this word, pad, pad me. Pad me, Om Mani Pad me. So Pad me, so Pad is diligence. It's showing the hard work, okay. And purifies the ignorance and judgment. You are no remain biased towards anything because you are detached. So everything uh, you feel connected towards it. You are not saying this is my or Mera, my, but Actually, you detach, and once you detach, everything becomes you, and you become everything. Are you getting it? This is the path. Okay. Me, path me. Me is concentration. Represent the concentration and purifies the attachment. It means you detach. Okay. So this is whole path me. Path me. The whole world is symbolizing the lotus. And how lotus is completely detached, same way you are detached, you are detached from the body. And then once you detach from the body, you are not dependent on anything. Okay, not dependent even the anything which is make you alive. Um, food, water, if you get the food, water, then it's okay. But if you don't get it, you are not like become cranky, losing your mind or you are just saying, okay, what happened to me and blame, start blaming the God and everybody and start crying upon it. Even you are later on not dependent on the food, water and these things. If you get it, then you are you would be surviving. If not, even you are not crying upon those things, why I'm not having the basic needs even fulfilled. Okay, that's level you reached. Then hum, the sixth label is hum, the sound. Unity of all, okay, which symbolize unity of all. Represent wisdom and purifies the hatred. So this is the hum which uh, I talked about. Once you detach, this is the mani padme. These two flavors showing the process of the purification, how you detach from the world and how... Ma'am, your voice is not coming.
Dr. Tanji, can you hear me now? Hello. Uh, you can hear me? Yes, ma'am, I can hear you. I don't know what happened. Everything has become jammed. Yes, now you got connected. Uh, same problem you are having? You get the signal, all the signals out? No, ma'am. Okay, how much? Hello? Now your voice is again breaking or stopped. Do you have listened? Ma'am, we were at hum. Hum, okay. So hum is talking, basically it uh, talks about the unification. Unification of the world. Voice is the left of the world. The, okay, so yes. Hello? Yeah, what you say, but then. Ma'am, your voice is breaking in between. Okay, I don't know what happened at work. It's, but other channels are also out. Let's see. Now it's better? Just change. It's, not, it's, not. it's better. You were saying it is the unity of? Unity of? Oh, no. Of all. And the ham represents this. Okay. Unity of all represent the wisdom and purifies the hatred. Okay. Okay. So this is the meaning which is given by uh, the ancient, you know, uh, monk. Uh, which he practiced. So he symbol. I told you the mantras may basically related to the symbolical meaning instead of literal meaning. Okay, literal meaning I've all, already explained to you. Like money means jewel, padme means the lotus. Okay, and but there's a symbolical meaning which I also explained to you. Ma, ni, what ma symbolize, what ni sound symbolize, what pad symbolized, and what ma symbolized. Uh, may symbolize and then hum. Okay. Uh, literal meaning of this Om Mani Padme Ham praise to the jewel in the lotus. So this is the literal meaning praise to the jewel in the lotus. So it means uh, Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva is like Lord, Lord Buddha is considered to be the jewel. So his enlightenment is kind of like a jewel which is in the lotus and by chanting this mantra om mani padme ham you will come to that stage that you attain uh, you attain that purification that how the lord buddha attained the purification so that's why and this is the reminder also okay, lord buddha attained the enlightenment he get the birth, he become the bodhisattva uh, siddharth gautam Buddha, he become siddharth gautam he become the bodhisattva, so we can also by chanting, not by chanting the mantra, but basically it's a reminder. It shows that by following the path of the Lord Buddha, anybody can attain the, anybody can purify himself, no matter how impure they are, and then ultimately they attain the enlightenment if you walking on the path of the Lord Buddha. Okay, this is the whole meaning of Om Mani. There's another interpretation which is given by the Dalai Lama and uh, which he explained in the one of the articles uh, that Om Mani Padme Ham, that Om is basically practitioner impurities of the body, speech and mind, which transformed into the purity of the Buddha. Okay, so Om basically when you chant Om, you keep chanting the Om. Again, I'm saying it is a personal interpretation by the Dalai Lama. Okay. Uh, um, so, Om, when you chant, you are correcting your body 
speech and mind so we do the action uh, understand we do the three types of the action day to day like bought through the action uh, like uh, we are moving hands walk these action we are doing then speech you talk that is another action and through the mind also we do the action one thought come like cooking the pizza so you start you get the thought that i should have the pizza so you start cooking and then you start talking about the pizza about the pizza recipe to uh, rest of the people and then you cook then this is all the action you are doing it so when you chant om you purifies all these three action all these three karma which transformed by chanting om which you can transform into the purity you can attain the purity of all these three action then next um, um, flavor talks about the path like money money he explained that jewel which basically uh, symbolize again the compassionate and loving nature of the enlightened being if you enlightened you are fully compassionate and loving if you when you purities are removed from your body like uh, right now your man is full of compassion okay but because of impurities like money is there right money is in the stone right when it is a part of the mountain and it is part of the stone or it is part of the key it is it is already money is there right but because of impurity it is not shining but once you remove the impurities automatically start shining so in order to filling yourself with the compassion and loving nature this is not the way the way is what remove the impurities remove the hatred remove um the you know jealousy and rest of the defilement of the mind from yourself then you you become shining you come to the true nature it's like milk is white right when you add in the water and other adulterants into the milk it become the impure but when you remove again you get the pure milk right so same way you are pure but you have to remove the impurity from you so you become the shining like a money you become the jewel next is padme he explained padme is like a wisdom and which must be in in indivisible unity of method and wisdom is like padme is the lot lotus which symbolizes the wisdom and it is attached with the path itself right so uh when you following the path like method you attain the purity and you attain the wisdom automatically so it's like um how i explain uh method and the wisdom is connected right if you uh, like uh, doing any part of the meditation like um, anapan you are practicing for example you are focusing on the breath when you focusing on the breath your mind is concentrated right because your mind is fixed on the one object when one object is introduced this is the method you come to the concentration concentration it means you are not doing another thing to practice the concentration but the moment you fixing your mind on the one object concentration come automatically to you isn't it the same thing is happening here when you are following the method the om mani padme hum or the path of the lord buddha this jim is come automatically to you because method is what the path the path which is you are following this jim uh, the purity is automatically come to you is like you remove method is like removing the impurities from the mind and then you get the purity automatically you are not doing extra things to attain the purity you have to just remove the impurities make sense the moment you remove the impurities you get the purity automatically you are not doing putting extra thing okay i have to add any uh, more other things to attain the purity so method is talking about so he explained that padme is the wisdom 
and mani and the padme is the method when you are following the path of the lord buddha you get purity and once you get the purity wisdom is there and ma- method is the method is what to purification to become the jewel the purification of of what how you becoming the jewel how money become money right all it is a part of the stone now it become money it's a shining money is the jewel shining jewel so once it's pure it's automatically shining all it is impure it's not shining so this is the padme okay now hum here he means dependency so once you practice the path uh, you gonna transform yourself and you would be achieved the bodhi sattva you would be achieved you can be the good if you following the path of the lord put if you uh, following the path of the purification the purification of your body mind speech everything then you become good the bodhi you become you attain the wisdom so hum is basically you become the independent being completely independent being okay so this is the meaning given by the dalai lama um, and he explained in this way so i have explained you all most of the meaning of the om mani padme hum any doubt here in the meaning any word which you don't understand ma'am mani padme dalai lama was again the jewel which symbolizes the compassionate yes the jewel compassionate and loving nature so once you become the jewel you are shining light so once you become the pure you your heart will would be full with the compassion love this is impossible that if you remove the hatred what remain love right if you remove jealousy what remain compassion so it is the quality of your mind it is the quality of the soul it is any name whatever you say it is your quality but because of the pre exist notion of the society and so many filth is going on these uh, these sattvic guna this purity is suppressed by the dirt of the outside and the whole procedure is the purification once you purified you come you become shining jewel okay So this is the money. Clear? Ma'am, again, the ma represented in a general form is. Ah, uh, ma symbol represent basically um, ethics, moral values, and purifies the jealousy. Okay. 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 Thank so, you. So. Okay. So let's start practicing this mantra, and uh, same for you have to follow the rules. Go with your own pace. Uh, choose the posture. Same mantra. Uh, precaution you have to take it. Not making so loud or um, going with the slow pace. Just whatever you feel, what is coming out. how you feel comfortable in chanting but focus on the pronunciation pronunciation is very much important so i have already given you the instruction very much in detail same thing you gonna uh, implement here so now be ready I'm going to your asan and if any time we disconnected but keep continue your practice and uh, we gonna end the same way how we gonna start so keeping your back neck straight aligned going to your posture going to your alignment observe your breath remain maintain the stillness now take a deep full long slow inhalation Deep and long, slow exhalation.
now well if you are comfortable take a deep prolonged inhalation and exhale inhale and exhale and once you are ready start your chanting <clears throat> Oh. 
Go into the sun. Observe your natural breath. Take a deep, prolonged, slow inhalation. Deep, prolonged, slow inhalation. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale for the Om. Take a three, take a deep, prolonged flow inhalation. Om.
Drawing your both palm, wrap your palm. Place on your eyes. Pretty slowly while drinking, looking up the palm. Gently open up your eyes so that they smile and say, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Any difficulty, any doubts in pronunciation and uh, understanding the meaning and technique? Ma'am, can we go with the very like higher frequency of the sound mantra? Like lower to um, higher, or lower, higher, and lower? Uh, you can go for it, but it should not be deliberately done. Okay. I told you, initial level, we just go through the way you want. Okay. okay. The way you want. There's a frequency, but that is a little bit more um, uh, next step. Initial level, we cannot introduce the frequency or tone or other things. Initial level, the important thing is pronunciation, how you're pronouncing and how you connect with that mantra. That is the most important thing. Then frequency and toning come automatically to you it, because you have certain frequency in your body, right? You have certain energy level. So that's why people feel more comfortable with the low frequency of the sound and some people feel more comfortable with the high frequency of the sound. Are you getting it? Because yes. they associate it with that frequency. So it's, it has to become naturally. It shouldn't be forcefully done like you are forcing yourself. If you're forcing, it means you're giving the stress and then uh, sound frequency will not be changed and then you don't feel uh, get the uh, vibration, actual vibration which you required uh, to focus, to feel, to absorb that frequency and to feel comfortable with that frequency. So the way it is coming through your body, that's fine. But if you're changing it, try to changing it and try to toning up with the other frequency, like uh, I go with the loud one and you are comfortable with the low one. This toning, like when we do the group chanting, they set their frequency on the same level, but it's required year, year of practice, you know. They're chanting years, many, many years, they practice this thing, and then eventually they come into the training. Understood? So okay. it's required very much practice. It shouldn't be forcefully done. If you're forcing, so you get, uh, you know, stress on your vocal cord, you're getting the stress in your tongue, your muscles, facial muscles, and then the vibration of the sound would be going to change. Okay. 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 
Now again, the mirror uh, purifies what? What? Ma'am, the main, the Padme, it purifies what in us? Okay, okay. May. Padme. So, May is basically represent the concentration and it purifies the attachment. Okay. So, you go towards the detachment. Okay. Thank so, you. So, okay, okay, okay. So, tomorrow is a Sunday. Uh, mm -hmm. Keep practicing this meditation at the time. Mm -hmm. And then. Ma'am, how do we find that, 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 that specific mantra is, matlab, how do we find this specific mantra is good for us? We should go with it. What kind of? You cannot find mantra, we're going to find you. Okay. <laughs> you, yeah. you would be like how I connected myself with the Om Shanti, no? And Om. So I feel very much associated with the Om and Om Shanti. Um, okay. But uh, it's come to you. You feel associated. Like one mantra is like, because you have such a set of intention in your mind. Like I am looking for the Shanti and I always, you know, have the intention how I get peace and I, how I can spread the peace around me. Eco logical way or uh, like how I can bring the peace in the climate and everything. So Shanti word is associated with me. Same way if you have certain kind of intention, that mantra is going to attract you. Okay. So okay. that's why I'm explaining the symbolical and ritual meaning to whom you feel associated. Uh, you're going to chant that one. And if you don't, it means right mantras. You have to keep looking at there's millions of the mantras. <laughs> Okay. We, do, we have many, many mantras. So keep looking it. If you get, don't leave that mantra. And don't do not try to chant all kind of mantras. Just stick to the one where you feel connected. The moment you feel connection, remain there. Okay. Otherwise, keep looking. Does all the type of mantra produces the same vibration? No. No, no, no same vibration how it could be possible <laughs> sound mm -hmm. is different so vibration would be different no but okay. effect uh, control over the mind yes you will get the control over the mind but why we have i already talked about the very first class that why we have millions of the mantras because we have different different intention and desire okay 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 mm -hmm. okay so, Om Shanti, Mangal Ho, bless you. Meet you on Monday class. Okay, okay. ma'am. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.